So, today I'm coming back with another video, and we will be painting some of these pieces. I don't think I can paint all 73 of them, but I absolutely love D&D. &D. Unfortunately, I don't have many people around to play it with, and uh, COVID definitely put a damper on trying to find a circle. So this is Terrain Crate. It has 73 pieces here. And like you see, you got doors, tables, basically anything you want to set up like a dungeon, like to actually look. We even got traps, coffins, mummies, piles of treasure and gold and armor, uh, bookshelves, I think. Basically, almost anything you could want in a, like, to put as a setting, like, on your map. So, they're really good for fantasy games, uh, like D&D, &D, if you like doing that. Or there's board games like Pathfinder and such that are basically kind of like D&D. They're role-playing games. So, today I'm just going to open these up, and then I'm going to show show you all the pieces and uh we'll check them out see how detailed they are they look fantastic uh like these ridges on this wood and like it looks like there's grain on this table don't know how well i can show you that but it de it definitely looks like they put a lot of effort to texture the pieces uh, really beautifully. So we're gonna open this up and see. And yes, if you're wondering, I, it was on, it was for sale at $65. Um, he did give me a bit of a deal because I purchased a bunch of other stuff from him. So, but it was still around 60 to $55, which is a lot, but so today we're going to be opening this up and maybe reviewing them. And then maybe next week we will get into painting these because they they do look like they're all just like a, a solid color. And uh, I really like how they're painted on the front of the box. So we're going to see if maybe I can't paint them. So first thing first, let's get ripping this box open, maybe. Alrighty. And, uh, I'm trying to keep it on camera more <laughs> this time. Uh, but I... <clears throat> this box is huge. Uh, let's see here. Oh, and there are two layers already. I can see this. So I'm just gonna pull them out of the box. Oh! Oh, okay, some of the pieces got loose in there. So I hope that other piece didn't uh, fall off my table. Set that over there, and oh wow, we got some coffins! Alrighty, I can see this is this is going to be beautiful. Um, yeah, we, we got some some pieces all over the place, and it, I don't know if these are placeholders or what. I don't know if they count the tops the lids of the coffins oh no it went down under there oh i don't know what i'm looking for is you it yes yes you are okay and it it took spider web down on its way down so pop him in there um there's a hole here so guess in a little bit we're gonna count them all too to make sure we got all oh lord that's where they all are wow okay this shelf uh oh no it's bent now oh well that makes me sad look at it it's bent looks like it's a little uh coal brazier it's a little torch uh for the insides of your, like, uh, a light. Got a ladder. This one's slightly bent too, but not nearly as bent <laughs> as this one. Look at that. This one's got a slight tilt to it too. I'm gonna have to see if I can't, uh, fix those. So, um, I don't know what they're counting as a single piece. 
Like, are they going to count this coffin and lid as one single piece? And that's not even the lid to that coffin. Are they counting this coffin and lid and the skeleton that goes inside of it as one piece? Are they counting the sarcophagus as one piece? I really don't know. What, what are we counting as one piece here? And another thing I noticed, like, like you see with this one, this one doesn't have it to as much of an extreme, but they're very just slammed in there. Um, this, where does that go? Does that go there? Or does that go there? Who knows? Um, a lot of them feel like they were just shoved in here as opposed to very kindly packaging them. Uh, and this one is like an extreme example. Like we got ladders and we got this just randomly hanging out and chilling in spots. These I think go up here. They fit there. And this, where, where do you go? See, so it's like, where, where do you go? Oh, that's where the ladder goes. Found that. Yeah, the table goes in there if uh, you can get the traps off of it. So if that's where the traps go, then uh, why aren't they all fitting in there? See, it's just got mirrors all over the place. Got a bench out of place. Goodness. And a stack of boxes, stack of barrels. Uh, like, they, they truly did not care about whether these pieces fit, it seems, into their slot. Set that over there. You there. I want to swap. So, they, they really feel like they weren't uh, given a proper amount of love uh, with their packaging uh, that they should frankly deserve because... I paid a lot of money for these figurines. Um, you know, you pay a lot of money for something you expect it to be packaged nicely. And these tiny bitties, I'm I'm sort of glad that they threw them in a plastic baggie, but not that they put them here and then stacked these ones on top. What if some of these the more delicate pieces like this broke off or the chair or something? I don't... I don't know. Like, maybe they could have just done this and just dumped them all into this, uh, this little area here. Or this. Like, in these, it's like, where do you go? Maybe right there. But, see? It, see how much neater and nicer this all could have been packaged? So that it doesn't look like you don't care? I don't know, maybe maybe I'm just a jerk, but this got bent, okay? The piece that you sent me, or that, that you packaged, was bent. It's probably going to be bent out of shape. I'm probably going to have to, like, blow torch it, or, like, uh, take a dryer to it and try to straighten it. And, and this, it's like... Was it so hard to just find a thing that it fit in or make it so that it fit or do this would it have been so hard to do that would it have been so hard to arrange everything so so that it it wouldn't be up here on top possibly scratching and denting some of the other objects and you know it's it's just kind of minorly annoying and make like do it so you're not going to break your things before I can even have them, you know? Like, I just opened this box. You saw me open it. So, that's that, I guess. Um, I guess let's take a little bit of a look here at the treasure piles. So, there is some, some fair amount of detail. Um... I'm glad that nothing was too totally damaged, so it is hollow underneath. And, you know, you can just paint it if you want. This, though, it does look like they at least try to 
monotone it. So maybe you'd only have to paint like this little box and this little box and maybe paint some of these silver or copper. Um, yeah. And uh, this same thing. It's like they have a gross greenish gold plastic. Um, yeah. They're hard plastic, but uh, smooth underside and uh, just domed up. But they are, yeah, like they're sort of goldish, but they're like a olive green with gold mixed into it. It's it's not a good color. Almost like a sienna. I I don't know. I just don't like that color. Um. So yeah. So those are the big piles. Um. Of just gold coins. So now we move on to the tiny pile. Which. Is that. Okay so it has a crate. And it has like. Symbol of like a little bat. And it's. A bunch of gold coins. Um, it's actually not bad. And once again. Domed underneath. Um. Which I'm certain is to save on how much plastic you use and how much, uh, how heavy they get. So you can fit a lot more without getting, like, fatigued from carrying them. There's bat shapes all over this thing, though. She isn't bad, but it's like, what is this piece up here? Is that, like, armor? Is that a helmet? I don't know. So there are some treasure chests. Just giant stacks of treasure chests. I love it. They have these beautiful little rivets and these clasps, details, uh, scrolls and stuff. This, These are cool. Like, I absolutely adore them. I just don't like how they were packaged. To me, that's, like, just a no. Um, they also have this, whatever it is. Is it, like, a torture device, I think? Like, a rack and pole or something? Is this what they meant when they said they'll put you on the rack? Uh, <laughs> but it is highly detailed. It's very obvious that it's made out of wood. You can see the grains on it. Um, it is nice. I just, I don't know what it is. It looks like it's some sort of torture device. I'm probably right in that assumption. But, uh, oh, no, you don't go that way. You go that way. Okay. How, what? How did you fit in there? Oh, Okay, and it seems there was a Iron Maiden half that was in that thing. And see, and where do you go? Where's your other half is a very good question to be asking. Because both the coffin and the sarcophagi have their other halves. Is this supposed to just go here so it swaps between being an Iron Maiden and a sarcophagi? Well, no, it can't. It doesn't line up. Is it maybe only supposed to be one half? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Is it maybe just supposed to be this and then you stick it against the wall of the thing? Or you... You know, I don't know. I'm going to put that there. Because it was empty. And then... Um, while we're looking at this one, this bookshelf. This bookshelf. Clearly made out of wood. It has... A trunk, a witch's hat, and what looks like some little baubles and potions and, like, some books. And, uh, oh, I can see a wand with maybe some more potion bottles and some books and uh, a couple of skulls in the way, way back. It's really hard to see. Oh, that's actually perfect lighting. Nice. Nice camera. You caught it. And this, this is a really cool looking uh, astrolabe, I think. Is that what it's called? This. This is the thing that's tilted. Oh, God. Okay. 
Well, I'm going to have to glue that back on. Uh, but we get a pedestal. Now I was under the assumption that we got a bunch of pedestals. We only get one. Man, that sucks. But it's pretty nice. It's got some pretty interesting craftsmanship. Oh, wait, it's a table. Never mind. It's a table or a dais or something or a water bowl. I was looking at it wrong. Either way, it could work as a pedestal as well. Probably. Okay, set you back in there. And now we have a handful of different mirrors. So we have this brown wooden one that's very fancy. Fancy. And it's got some interesting sculpt details and like the hanger and like like this is obviously a s one that you stand on something like this is a stand and then the mirror kind of swivels back and forth you know one of those kind of vanity mirrors then we have these two which are definitely either could focus as mirrors probably um just put a paint it to be a mirror or i guess they could be a picture frame as well so, what? yeah, that's actually probably their intended use is as a picture frame, but they could also function as mirrors. I've seen mirrors with, like, these scrollies uh, on the sides of them. So, as picture framey as they are, they could also function as mirrors. And, uh, what? I think this is some rubble. Some, yeah, some rubble. Not as much detailing on this. Uh, like, you got this, the pillars, but the stones are all just uh, just smooth chunks, just about. There's some tiny bit of texture, but it's going to get eaten up by the paint. Um, they also have some rugs. I, I realize these are... This one is at least a rug. This one's a tapestry that hangs on the wall. Some really nice texture on this one. This one, it's super smooth. Super smooth. Um, rugs aren't that smooth. It would have been nice to see some, some, uh, texture like this on it. But other than that, it's not too bad. Alrighty. I know this video is dragging on. I'm sorry. So, we have a couple of chairs. Um... It's like some dining room chairs, I guess. But they don't have a table that seems to be appropriate to them. The only table we have is this. And, uh, it, it looks kind of rudimentary. You're giving me ornate, beautiful golden chairs. Um, why aren't you giving me a table that matches? Like, you're giving me the entrapments of a castle, and I don't have... You know, you know, that and we get like these little bench tables, but again, they're, they're little bench tables and we get even smaller little bench tables that are like half the size of those bench tables. Like these are benches for those tables for you to sit at. It, it's just, you give me such beautiful ornate golden chairs why do you not give me a pretty table i don't know it just doesn't make sense i know that this is supposed to be a sort of collection of all the different things that you can like there there were a bunch of smaller boxes called like the dragon's loot box which these gold pieces come from and then there's the castle the castle coffers or something like that and it has like 500 pedestals um so these are some traps uh sorry I should hold them up so you can see them they're pretty detailed uh, i love the stone texture on them uh even these little spikies <laughs> and the trap door with the stone texture and the wood and the, the metal just really they really pop they're they're pretty good so those are good. Um, I enjoy those. And then we got just a bunch of crates. Come here, you. 
Oh, this one's got a treasure chest in with the crates and some barrels and some more barrels, like a bunch of barrels. And then that's the last handful of them all. Oh, plus our ladder that we saw earlier, which sufficient, I suppose. But if it's held together with this, it it's made out of wood. Why didn't they make this brown? Just a little nitpick. They could have made that out of brown plastic. It's obviously a wooden ladder. Um, but that, like I said, that's just a little nitpick on it. It's honestly not bad. And, uh, yeah. It is kind of satisfying to pop these all into place. Oh, and then we didn't even look at the tiny stuff yet. I'm so sorry. This is going to drag on and on and on. So we have tiny little... This one's an actual pedestal. Some more little rubble. Oh, we get a bird. We get a bird on a perch, and it's an owl. And I will, this one is very detailed. Feathers and everything. Um, oh, here's a wooden chair that actually matches our set of wooden tables a little bit. A sword in the stone. <laughs> you know. This one is, the, uh, like, very generally... A, we get some more torches or sconces, whatever you call them. What have you? Uh, some more tiny itty bitty little potion bottles here. And uh, let's see if we can't wrap these up. Some candles. Can you see that? Some candles. Uh, another chair. Let's see here. Oh, like a little, little adventures map. Like a, a little sword with their, their map out and their compass. That's really cool. Uh, this looks like it is somebody's dinner table. Like their plate and uh, the cup. But once again, we like these look like they go with those fancy chairs. Um, but once again, we don't have a fancy table. The crown... On a cushion. Don't know if that's super obvious to you. It's a crown on a cushion. Uh, a, a standard plain Jane wooden stool. Oh, we have a le pulley lever. I like this. This is more of like an interactive thing, not more like a just a purely design. So this and the traps and the ladder, I feel, are more more gonna be geared towards things that you would need more often and it's nicer to include things that your um your characters can you know just interact with i think you know interacting with your environment and it looks like we have a bunch of stalactites or stalagmites i guess i don't remember which one they are um what are you Oh, oh, they're itty, the ittiest bittiest little mice. Do you see them? It's going to be really hard to see unpainted. I was just like, what are you for the longest time? And some, I think these are tiny itty bitty barrels are meant to be. Like, so if you have something that's at this itty bitty stage, or, like, you're using a really small map. You can't use these big pieces. You got these tiny pieces. Oh, and we got some skulls. Not certain if I can uh, set them up right so you can see them. Come closer, my child. And you come here, too. Yeah, we got some itty-bitty little skulls. The one, actually... Oh, no, that was just the side of its head where that lobe dips in. Um, oh, and we even have a sack of gold coins. It's so itty-bitty, it's hard for my camera to focus on it. Can you focus? Yeah. It's just the, the, the itty-bittiest -bittiest little sack of gold coins. Or copper coins, whatever coins you decide. Um, some books with... 
a inkwell and feather or quill. These look to be also colorly plates. Uh, there's a fork on one, a a fork and a spoon, a knife, um, that kind of thing. And one lone rat. It's so hard for this camera to focus. Alrighty. These are so itty bitty comparison to these things. I love them. Like, I simply adore them. Um, but like I said, it would have been nice if they had just stuck them in here. So they didn't, uh, weren't, weren't as likely to get damaged. Because they are so itty bitty. And, um, anyways, that was, uh, what I thought of them. I'm sorry. way disappointed a little bit but also I can't really complain too much other than how terribly this was all packaged when I opened it and it was absolutely everywhere so I'm gonna stick that all down I'm gonna put it all back in its box until I'm ready to paint it next week um wouldn't want anything happening to them now that they are properly uh put away in their plastic and uh that's that so anyways i hope you liked this um like i said next week i'm probably going to focus on painting these uh well the majority of them anyways anyways i've dragged this on long enough and they're just a couple things that i'm a little bit a little bit uh salty about especially that packaging i cannot harp on enough about that you receive figurines and they're this small itty bitty little figurines and then you're just gonna slap them in there and not care about if they actually go into their their spot like i'm sorry what 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 no <laughs> don't do that okay care about your packaging guys especially if i paid 70 almost 60 bucks for this thing 60 bucks he he wanted 65 but i bought other stuff so he from his like so much other stuff from his shop that he just it's like okay you know what i can take like maybe five bucks off and do 60 on it like for real though for real that's what you're gonna do just not care about how packaged they are so some of the items are missing possibly and some of the items are just completely like like bent out of shape the, the, this thing i broke okay i take full credit i can fix that easy but it was also still bent and the the those brassieres those torches those were also still bent it, it just really gets my goat when people don't care when they're packaging, especially for an item that's going to cost a lot. This is a big dollar item. This costs a lot to me. 60 bucks is a lot to me. So to not care about your customers and how they're going to open it and how everything's going to be laying in there, just, it's infuriating. Like, it is just infuriating to me because like I paid a lot of money for this and I'm gonna invest a lot of time into this I don't want to have half of the items damaged and I know it wasn't even close to half it was like three pieces that were bent out of shape but still but still there was potential for so many other pieces to get broken or move bent and it just doesn't sit well with me when you do that like this perch, this owl, that was in a tiny little bag. And it was not protected. This skinny, sh part, straight part was not protected. That owl could have tilted anything with that setup. Basically tilted or uh, bent out of shape. And it's, it's fragile. You want to make sure your more, most fragile pieces are the most well-protected pieces in your box. 
But that's enough. That's enough going on for me. Uh, any, anyway, see you guys in the next video. Sorry about the long, long rant. It's just so infuriating to see. And I'm going to have to purchase some other terrain crate boxes now and figures and see if I am, like, if this was, like, an isolated incident and it just happened to be this box that did that or if that kind of happens with all their boxes. So I'm going to have to buy some more of their boxes, uh, which won't be too much of an... Anyways, have a great evening. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait to, to get into, stuck into painting these pieces, especially the more sturdy ones, like the, the chests and the gold piles and stuff. That Like, I have some gold paint, some copper paint, some silver paint. We're going to make this pop and look, look just... Mwah. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I s sincerely hope you enjoyed this video. Um, have a lovely evening, or week. We'll, we'll say that. Have a lovely week, or have a better week.